what are the vulnerable populations in the state and how are they uh, affected by climate change? Well, I, uh, the vulnerable populations are often people, for example, who work in occupations where they don't have control over their conditions of their workplace. So think about people who are in construction, um, farm workers who are w working under very uh, extremely harsh conditions under, under normal weather patterns. And then during the summer when you have these heat waves, more often than not, the people that are landing in the emergency rooms and who are um, uh, dying on the job are people in those kinds of occupations. Um, I think the other kind of indirect health impact, but I think one that's really one to keep in mind is sort of the economic dislocation that happens because of climate change. So, for example, certain industries like the tourist industry, if we think about what happened to the ski season last year, which basically pretty much disappeared, because there were no snow in the mountains. Think about the people who work in those industries, mostly low-income people of color in the service industry, the hotel industry. Their jobs literally vaporize um, during those kinds of weather events. Um, they're very vulnerable, kind of seasonal jobs. Uh, same thing in the field of agriculture. Uh, when production levels go down, um, uh, growers let go of workers, and so people's livelihoods are, are literally at stake. And then I think the last thing to really consider is that very often the prices of our basic necessities uh, go up. And so for people like you and I, you know, we complain about higher energy bills or higher food bills, you know, more, we pay more for milk or eggs, but if you think about a low-income household that pays a very large proportion of their salary to buy food every month, uh, that's a huge hit.